Hey guys, Skip here. I was able to get invited to the Endless Dungeon first run open dev playtest. Basically like a preview to the game in pretty early access. And if you're familiar with Dungeon of the Endless, then this should look very familiar. And this is obviously the spiritual successor to that game. And it really lives up to a lot of the things that I would expect to want to see from a follow-up to Dungeon of the Endless. You have very similar mechanics around the idea of exploring, placing down turrets, discovery, uh, researching science, and, and getting food, and leveling up, and fighting waves of monsters. The biggest difference, as you can see, is that the actual fighting is actually done in real-time action. So you're still doing a little bit of tower defense, and you're controlling the characters more than just telling them what room to go to, which is a really nice change. It adds a little bit of a traditional roguelite action, action roguelite mechanic around the actual fighting, and allows you to still do the same things you would typically be doing in Dungeon of the Endless around resource management and trying to set up your paths so that you can get your crystal to the exit. It's still pretty early on, and there's still a lot that they're going to be doing and developing in the game. But from what I can see so far, it's very promising around being able to actually provide a very cohesive game. A couple of the things that annoyed me the most about the original game was when you needed to move the crystal to the exit. As you can see, you would actually now just have to you know, basically escort the crystal, which will walk on its own to the exit, meaning any characters that you have unlocked are actually able to fight with. You control one character at a time, but you can easily switch between them. You can tell one person, the other characters to follow you or to stand guard in a specific spot. And that makes a huge difference with the gameplay. One thing I liked as well is that when you move from area to area, as you the crystal actually gets through the final door and then will reseed itself into the next zone, making it a little bit more seamless of a gameplay experience. I'm very excited to see where this game is going and excited to see further development they may have. Definitely worth keeping an eye on. I would add it to your wish list once if you're able to do, to do that. If you enjoyed the first game, I definitely think you'll enjoy this next one. It keeps a lot of the same things that was there in Dungeon of the Endless from you know, trying to do research different turrets, etc. And a lot of the sort of tower defense-ish mechanics. And it's still a difficult game. You have to both take care of your characters and as well as protect the crystal as well. And if you don't, well, and then it's game over and you have to start all over again. Everything is obviously procedurally generated, so no game is the same twice. Lots of different monster types even at this early stage. I know they're probably going to be doing much, much more in the months to come before this game is actually ready for prime time. But I really enjoyed playing it. I'm looking forward to playing more of it and you should definitely check it out. Thanks. That's all for now. We'll see you guys in the next video.